for Christmas, even if it ain't no holiday, I slay. Fuck breakfast, you gon' You ready to fight? You ready? All right, so here he is, the still undefeated Spaniard, Ilya Topuria. And even before he became the world champion, his Instagram bio said UFC featherweight champion. Self-belief and confidence are not issues for one of the more sophisticated fighters and athletes on this roster. He just has a wisdom and a maturity that belies his years, and that's why even in a matchup like this, he will be patient, he will be calculated, and when a window opens to close the show, more than likely, he'll close it. Kind of feeling out process right now. Both guys trying to see exactly how they're going to approach this thing. Well, you see why Holloway is such a fan favorite. Beautiful land there with the left hand, and now we'll see what he can do with it. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Ilya Topuria. Nice combination there. He is just killing the ball. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Oh, heavy leg kick. Holloway gets tagged by that stiff jab. I don't do that as well as you do it, but man, he's coming out swinging tonight. He is bringing the heat. This dude is trying to end this night early. Can you give us an ooey, please? Ooh-wee! <laughs> so Under two minutes to go. Great punch landed with so much power. So he's really starting to put together some significant... Oh, huge kick to the leg. Oh, flying knee right to the melon. Big right hand. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas. Oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's more than one. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Oh, big left. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Topuria. Holloway's swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that goal oh, to prevent oh. any further damage. Round two next. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Topuria's corner. Looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cut man's got his work to do now. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right. Round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fights. Oh, flying knee to the head. Oh, nice. Well, Max Holloway fighting tonight like the Tesla is double parked yeah. outside. He is a man on a mission. Max trying to get in and out, man. Max trying to get the job to jump this Tesla and drive back to that brand new house on the beautiful island of Hawaii. Hawaii. And they say, what a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh, nice kick. He's hurt. He's hurt. Another one. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. 
All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come up. Oh, absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. And now some separation. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That's nice, Lacey. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot. by Topuria. Big shot to the head. Good spinning attack to the body for Holloway. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so now this damage really bears watching, right? His face compromised, and you got to think it's going to start affecting his output as well offensively. Well, you got to look for him to start to make mistakes, trying to overcompensate for all the shots that he's taken to their face, for all the swelling. I have seen on many occasions where someone has massive swelling and they struggle. Look for this guy to start to mess up a little bit in there. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl. Seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see if you can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Holloway's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouth. Oh, shot there. He's left his head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was only person in Ghana. And you know they still haven't found Alistair over his head. And another big kick for Max Holloway. Oh! You heard him again. Oh! Another knockdown. Back to his feet. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh! Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter. Oh! This is big. That's big. Well, when you absorb damage like this, you start to worry about a guy missing the rest of the year. At what point, if you're the referee, do you call in the ringside position? Well, right now. Yeah. I feel like a bit, a little bit ago. You could have called in the ringside position, and no one would have cared because you look at him and you see that he has been thoroughly beaten, and tonight is just not his night. Man, he ate another shot right on that cut. You think his vision has been compromised at all? It has to, right? Because you got to be able to see to fight. And right now, he's been targeted. Oh! That's it! That'll do it! Oh, my goodness! 
What an absolute freak of a knockout here tonight. That's a three-check knockout, right? Show money, win money, bonus money. Absolutely, J.A. There's...